This is Calabash Community as we continue to highlight activities in Babono in honor of Olympian Levin Spencer. Joining us next is the chairman of the Babono Constituency Council, Everest John. <laughs> I want to see the community do for Laverne because obviously she has established herself, established a her mark. What do you think the community can do now to recognize her legacy? Well, well, um, it's, 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 there's a street um, in, her, in, her, in her honor as well as the Babylon Multiple Center in her honor. But I'm looking forward to a national kind of recognition, just like they, they did with the stadium. Um, so, so nationally, I'm expecting. In fact, I will, I will ask my my parliamentary rep to find a way to to, to give her national appeal. But for Barbano, um, she has been to the schools, back to all the schools, to 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 motivate the students and then to tell them how great it is, to to go for what you want, to practice what you want, anything that is, anything you have a passion for and you rehearse and you practice constantly, then surely you will be great in it. And that's, 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 that's what I want to see her continue to do as, as, as school reopens and as she's from Babano and, uh, and, and, and Babano Primary School has, has, has recognized her, has embraced her and she goes to the school quite often to assist and to, to motivate the students there. What does it mean today? What does today mean to you to see us, a, a resident of Babono, who is number six in the world, being paraded in the community? Yes, I think this time is much better. Um, we tried that a few years ago um, when she, I think, she had won the Panam, the gold in, um, in the Panam Games, and we did a motorcade with her church, and that was beautiful. But this one, more beautiful. It is really extravagant. I'm so excited, and I really want to commend the Babano Youth and Sports Council, newly elected, the, her church, the Babano Police and, and you know, her, her, her team, her management team, and all persons who are involved in this planning and execution in brilliant, excellent weather. And I want to speak to a older gentleman, Mr. Michael Patterson Toussaint, a former principal of the Babano Primary School, where Laverne did her primary school uh, education. He missed the motorcade at the beginning and he hopped rides from Babano to Kako and then he missed it. Kako down to Balata, he missed it. He took another ride from, from Balata up to another point and I picked him up in the Lakwa Gap and he told me I could not miss this. And I want to say this is how we feel about Laverne Spencer, not only today, but I really want to say that I'm excited to see the number of persons who have come out. The uh, sponsors have come out with the colors, the national colors, to celebrate her and the number of young people who are here, who've turned up for their autographs, children in uniform and out of uniform. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful homecoming for a champion. And I think this is only for Babano, but a national um, champion and original so because I think there's nobody else in her league in the region but I want to push what I started before while in in office and that is to name a national sporting facility after Laverne Spencer seeing what she was able to achieve at the Olympic Games I think the time is now that we can name a national sporting facility the discussion had started let us end it let us do this for Laverne and really give her the standing, the position she deserves, that she earns nationally for us. Finally, how can young persons from Babano, the sports athletes and so on, how can they honor her memory and what do they need to do to live up to her legacy? Well, I think as, as we've seen started with the Youth and Sports Council, they can use Laverne as an ambassador within the council because they work with youth groups across 
the constituency of Barbono and also nationally they are linked with the National Youth Council. It's time to take Lavon to the ordinary young person in St. Lucia. Have a chat and sell what she has, I mean, over the years said that has brought her to that level of excellence. She's always said it's hard work, it's discipline, it's God, and her values of humility. This girl is a giant, but she stands with her feet firmly planted on the ground and her head way up into the heavens. That is what I want to see being sold to the young people in the, in the St. Lucian space. That it's hard work, it's discipline, it's great work ethics, it is humility, it's a love for God. It's, it's about love for people. And I think this is, an, and her church is behind her 100%. And whatever community we get standing behind young people, they will go forward. Whether it's church, it's family, it is school, it is community, they will excel. So I say to the people of St. Lucia, let us continue standing with our young people. There are more champions to come. And I mean, Babono is full of, of champions. You just need to spend an hour and you'll get the names and you'll know from different fields. So I say, let us continue what we've started and that, let the stars shine, not only in Babano, but around St. Lucia. <laughs>special occasion for the people in Barbono and also for Flo as well. Talk to us about the significance of today. Oh absolutely, this is what you call a real homecoming and we're so proud to be a part of this event. Um, we have been celebrating Laverne's success for many years right now but when you bring the celebration into her community, with her family, with her friends, her community member, I think this speaks volumes and um, I'm just so proud like I said to, to of Laverne for what she's done for St. Lucia at large. She's certainly an inspiration for many young persons and individuals in general. She epitomized values that we would like our kids to display, you know, determination, humility, perseverance, success. And um, this has been a long-standing relationship, initially with Lime and now Flo. So we're just happy that that, that bond ha continues. Laverne being our brand ambassador and we just look forward to a very exciting event today. I know she went through, I think, nine parishes in Barbano. It's quite a stretch for her in terms of the drive. Um, talk to us about the, 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 what it means to be reaching to all those nooks and crannies in Barbano. Well, this speaks directly to our mission as it pertains to Flo. Connecting communities and transforming lives. And this is what this initiative is about today. We've touched the hearts and minds of families in nine communities. And why wouldn't we be excited about that? So again, kudos to Laverne Spencer's support system, her parents, her siblings, her church. She has a very good foundation there. The community at large, St. Lucia, and everybody who's made a valuable contribution to ensuring that this event is a success. And of course, Flo. Flo, we're about Laverne. We love Laverne. We have supported her throughout her career. And it goes without saying that we had to be a part of this homecoming here in Babano and touching the lives of everybody here. Coverage of the Levin Spencer motorcade and rally will continue shortly and when we do we hear from Levin Spencer as the community holds the ceremony in her honour.